Hi, I'm Lucy and today I'm going to talk about the dental service in Taiwan. I know it's not the most exciting subject there is. People don't tend to go to Taiwan because of the dentist, but it is a real perk. It's something that if you've ever had toothache, you would be extremely grateful for. This week I had really bad toothache. I never get toothache and this week it came on out of nowhere, shooting pains in my teeth and it was agony and I panicked. For the last couple of weeks, my sister in England has had terrible tooth problems. Her tooth broke in half and she made an appointment at the dentist and then it got cancelled and she got another appointment at the dentist and that one got cancelled too. And when I asked her about it, she explained that in England, it's really difficult to get an NHS dentist. And even if you get an NHS dentist, it's really difficult to get an appointment with that dentist. <laughs> so this is a real problem. In England, I think that most dentists choose to go private because there's more money in it. So there's just not enough NHS dentists. And then it's even more troublesome now because we have had lockdowns and so a lot of dentists haven't been open. The dentists in England, usually the dentists only open business hours, but those are the hours people are working or are at school. In Taiwan, there are dentists everywhere. There are thousands and thousands of dentists in Taiwan. There are so many dentists. It's so easy to get an appointment and to get seen and to get treated. And the cost is so low. When I was younger, I heard of a lot of people in the UK go abroad to have dental care. And I thought it was kind of strange because by the time you pay for flights or, you know, you don't know the language, it's a big, like that's a really scary thing to do. But now I can totally understand it. It really does make such a difference. Taiwan's dental care is really good. I remember years ago in my late teens, I lost a filling. I lost a filling and I had a hole in my tooth and it was kind of gross and I couldn't get an appointment at the dentist. It was just impossible at the time. And I just thought, what should I do? I went to the chemist and I bought a DIY dentistry kit and I did my own filling. And I think these kits are meant to be temporary. It will just help until you, until you can get your place in the dentist seat. But after that, I went traveling. I came to Taiwan and I just carried on with my life and my filling stayed in place. And I forgot all about my DIY huh? situation until years later, I went back to England to visit and I got an appointment at a dentist in the UK, which cost me loads. And they checked my teeth and they were really impressed with what a great job I had done on my filling years earlier. And they couldn't believe that it had lasted so long. So fast forward 10 years later, this week I got terrible, terrible toothache. It came out of nowhere and I was just in agony. Oh my goodness, my, my teeth hurt so bad. And I panicked because I haven't always had great experiences at the dentist. And my husband just looked at me and shrugged. There's a dentist right around the corner, just go in. Huh? Just 
go in. And so I did. I walked two minutes and I arrived. It cost 150 NT, just over three pounds. To see the dentist with my national health insurance card, I asked, oh, when can I get an appointment? They said, oh, sit down, wait a minute. And I literally waited one minute, one minute. And I was in the dentist chair. They x-rayed my teeth and he checked them and cleaned them and discussed with me and gave me a prescription for the pain. And when I left, I asked how much it was going to cost because we all know dentist care costs an arm and a leg. They shrugged. No, you've already paid your 150 NT. That's it. <gasps> oh, the joy. <laughs> Oh, the joy of not having extra expenses. He gave me a filling. He filled in that tooth and explained how to better take care of myself. And there was no added cost. I just went to the clinic two minutes down the road, walked in, got to see a dentist straight away, and it cost me a few quid. And I came home and I called my sister and she couldn't believe it. She is still on the waiting list in the UK. She has an appointment for two weeks later. She's walking around with half a tooth. Sorry, Re. And it just really made me appreciate how good the Taiwanese dentist system and the national health insurance is here and I'm so grateful that I get it. In fact, I should have thought about the dentist around the corner because last year my son Caleb tripped and fell on the tile floor and he stood up with his tooth in his hand, panic panic, ah, panic. And my husband just picked him up and ran out the back door, calling for me to meet him at the dentist with his health insurance card. And he literally ran him around the corner to the dentist and the dentist automatically saw him, just an emergency appointment, even before I arrived with the card, they'd already sat him in the chair and started to take care of him. And because of the speed, because the dentist was so close and they fitted us in so quickly, they managed to put the tooth back in place and they took such good care of him. He sat in that big chair all by himself at four years old and I was so proud of him. He was calmer than me. <laughs> I was really proud of the healthcare he got. The dentist did an amazing job. So yeah, I guess this is just a massive shout out to all the dentists out there that are keeping our teeth and our smiles intact. So I have a few other videos about Taiwan and some English words and phrases that you can go back and look at if you want and Click like if there is anyone you know interested in dental care in Taiwan, then share this with them. If you know anybody who has had extremely good or bad experiences, let them see this video. Okay, until next time, thanks, bye-bye.